What is up, super fans? I'm Matt Stockholm, and this is another edition of the Quantum Corner Pull List. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel, like this video, comment down below. That will get you into our giveaways, and I'll talk more about that at the end of the video. So as I talk to my channel update, I'm doing my weekly pull list again. The only thing is, they're going to be a week behind, uh, just to work it out better for me with the schedule to have them every week. And Okay, so I explain more of that during that video, so I'm not going to go into too much more detail. With that being said, I do have one book that is actually not from this current week. It is from the week before, but I just have to show it off, so I'm going to. Snyder's Batman, The Last Night on Earth. If you guys have read the White Knight series, amazing series that came before this. Uh, this is the culmination. It's kind of like Infinity War and Endgame. <laughs> so this is everything Snyder's doing right now. I'm just in love with the Batman Who Laughs was killer. Uh, Justice League's really good. So I'm really, really pumped about reading his stuff right now. So yeah, I'm not going to say too much about that, but definitely check that one out. Okay, for this week's polls, this has been a big one. Deceased 2 by Taylor. Check that cover out. Zombified Superman. The artwork's done by uh, Harrison. And let me tell you, the art in this thing is awesome. The storyline, Deceased 1, hooked me right in. I'm like, yep, get number 2. So, guys, if you're into... I'm not necessarily into zombie books, per se, but I really like this story. I, I like the crossover with the superheroes and the zombie stuff. That is pretty cool. So definitely, guys, this is something worth checking out. Now, last DC book, Justice League number 25, also by Snyder, artwork by Tinian and Jimenez. And check this cover out, the Year of the Villain prequel for the Justice League. Got Cheetah and Wonder Woman on there, which my wife is going to love this. She may actually maybe make her get her one. <laughs> I didn't realize when I first picked it up right away, or I would have grabbed two, because... She loves Wonder Woman and she loves Cheetah. So I'm super psyched about the Snyder Justice League series as well. I've been wanting to read more DC. I've just been so caught up in Marvel and it's expensive trying to do it all. So that's pretty much it for the DC books this week. Let's jump right into Marvel. Okay. Web of Venom, number one. Venom by Donny Cates of Ramirez. Check that out. This is kind of like a prequel story. It goes back to Vietnam with another symbiote named Grindel. Uh, who is who uh, bonds with a guy named Rex Strickland, who's like a army guy. So I haven't read the full story. I just read about what it's about. But uh, Donny Cates, anything he's writing right now is killer. I love his Guardians, his Venom, his new Absolute Carnage is coming out. There's the Silver Surfer Black. So super pumped. I love Donny Cates, and he is just killing it right now. Check that out. Speaking of Donny Cates and the Guardians. Here's the Guardians an Annual number 1. There's one of the variant covers. I wanted this one really bad. I'm so excited that I was able to get it. Check that out a little closer here. Okay, and like I said, Kate's has just been killing it. Okay, one of my other favorite series, War of the Realms number 5. Check this out. Hella variant. Very cool. Uh, when they had number 1, I ended up getting a couple different variants, but I didn't get the Hella variant, and I was really disappointed. I still might get it at some point. So, there's been a couple really cool. There was a Guardians Hella cover and this one that I got. My wife also really likes those, too. So, uh, yeah, definitely like this. War of the Realms has been killing it. Been very pricey to keep all the tie-ins, but it's been a really good story. I'm really excited, and I really like it. There's not been too much that I haven't been happy with, tie-in-wise. Okay, War of the Realms tie-in. Deadpool number 13. Check that cover out. Awesome. Like I said, most of these tie-ins have been really, really good. Uh, New Agents of Atlas, number three. Oh, and forgive me, guys. Deadpool was young and Klein, and New Agents of Atlas is Pack, Limb, and Blee. Forgive me. Sorry, I slip, get so excited sometimes. Okay, War of the Realms, Journey into the Mystery, number four. By the McElroys, Araujo, and O'Halloran. This has been a really cool series as well, guys. It's a really cool tie-in. I really like this. is one of my more favorite tie-ins to the War of the Realms series. The McElroys are awesome. I really, really like some. They do a lot of different stuff, too. I'm finding out about more stuff recently, too. So, next on the list, Thanos, number two, by Tina Howard, Ariel Lovetti, and Antonio Fabella. Pretty cool cover. This is a story that bases mostly on Thanos and Gamora and their younger relationship. 
I got the first one. It was definitely interesting. It was pretty cool, and I'm a big Thanos fan. So I'm just, it's, I think it's like a five-part series. So I'm definitely going to collect them, see how that goes. Okay, getting into some of my faves here now. Savage Avengers number two by Dugan, Diodato, and Martin. Now this is, okay, yeah, this is the regular cover right here. I'm going to say that's the Finch cover, I believe. Yes. He's been doing a lot of the regular covers. Look at that with Conan and Wolverine. i got to show that again. Oh, love those two of my favorite characters. And then, this one's really cool. Here's one of the variants. And this is... Oh, sorry, guys. i got to look again. I get space sometimes. So many different ones. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Well, they don't list the actual... It's got a list of who does the variants. Can make this... Oh, yeah, this is Diodato. Okay, cool. There we go. I like his artwork, too. Diodato has definitely been really good. He's done really good with the book itself. And then, there's kind of a throwback book in here, because I'm catching up on some of these. Amazing Spider-Man, The Hunted. This is number 20. Check that Vulture cover out. Very cool. Very cool. I heard really good things about this series. I kind of missed the start of it. So now I'm kind of catching up the other issues. And the last book. This was the newest one. It's not from this week, per se. It was from the week before. But... The Hunted Amazing Spider-Man number 22. The saga concludes. Check that out. Craven on there. Very, very cool. Uh, this has been done by Spencer Ramos. Um, Smith did the one over here. Did the artistry for this one right here. So there's been some different artists. But I've heard really, really good things. From what I've started, I definitely like it. And I'm, I'm excited to get to the rest of it. So other than some other couple little variants for stuff I already have, that's pretty much it, you guys. So definitely let me know what you thought about my pulls this week. Let me know what you thought about the video. What's on your pull list? Are you guys okay with doing it a week behind? Is that okay? It just helps me as a creator have more time to really do these. So and to keep them consistent on Wednesdays. So that's pretty much it, guys. Don't forget, subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Comment down below. That will get you into our giveaways. Our next poster giveaway is at 200 subscribers. As I recently announced... Our 1K subs giveaway is going to be the Marvel Legends Nanotech Gauntlet. So help me keep growing these subscribers, guys. Let's get to 1K so I can give that gauntlet away. And that's pretty much all, guys. For the Quantum Corner, I'm Matt Stockholm saying, stay super, everybody.